Uh, so welcome back guys my name is Amlan and in today's Make Watch Free campaign we go about looking at what we can do in case like our Samsung device is not able to scan devices for establishing a pairing connection. Now I have a Bluetooth speaker here you could be having a mobile or something else and you may have this problem wherein despite turning on Bluetooth you actually don't get to see the device or the device is not discoverable or it's not available under available devices. If this is what is happening with you what I advise is like do the following steps. The first thing that you are required to do is ensure that the device is turned on and ensure that the Bluetooth is like you know turned on mm. as well. It's quite possible that the device that you have like has a separate mm. icon or a button and like you need to press this for the Bluetooth to be uh, like turned on and that's how like you can then at least try and achieve a pairing connection. Now if that isn't the case it's quite obvious if the Bluetooth itself isn't turned on for the device that you are trying to pair with. No matter how hard you try, you won't be able to see it. The next thing that I advise you to do is like head towards connection, head towards Bluetooth. And here, like what I advise is turn this off and then turn it back on. Do this a few times and maybe like the device starts showing up here. Once you see that I have turned the Bluetooth on, it's uh, like already discovered this device. Sometimes it may not happen in your case. So you need to simply turn it off, turn it on. Just do it a few times and this should help. Other thing that you can also do is simply like, you know, turn on the flight mode. Now hold on to this mode for some time, like uh, let it be there for say 4-5 seconds. What happens is in the flight modes, all the network connections including Wi-Fi, including Bluetooth, everything like gets disabled. Hold on to the state for some time, after 5 seconds you may release the flight mode. And you will see like now when you go back and you check for Bluetooth, uh, hopefully like uh, the device will start appearing. So this is the second thing that you can do. Now if this doesn't work as well, there is something that always works. Head towards your settings, head towards like general management under this, head towards reset, under reset, reset network settings. And you see this will reset all the available network settings and that includes Wi-Fi, mobile data, Bluetooth. Don't worry, none of the data gets deleted as such. However, the Wi-Fi password needs to be reset. Uh, it's not reset, it's, you have to refill it like you know you will again have to enter this manually. So only that much. So if you have dual SIM, just do it for both the SIMs. I'm doing it for my first SIM. Once it's done, I will actually go back and I will select my second SIM, selected, reset, prompted for screen pattern, and there you go. I will tap on reset and the network settings have been reset. And now like when I head back, I head towards like uh, connections and then Bluetooth and then turn it on. I will see that my device appears perfectly. Now this method should always work. Well, despite doing all of this, if there are still problems, what I advise is you can head towards your phone power button, simply reset the phone. Restart is a pretty neat solution. People often say that restarting the phone not only solves this issue, it solves many other issues because uh, there may be like, you know, certain times uh, some app conflict Maybe OS has been uh, beefed up with applications. So it's like, you know, when you are basically restarting the phone, all the activities are being closed down. The phone is getting a new life. And with the new life, the Bluetooth seems to work pretty well. Now, all this is fine. Also check out for Android updates. Sometimes, you know, there are update glitches or maybe there's an OS glitch. Just check out for Android updates if any available for your phone. If there is an update available for your phone, go ahead and update your phone. Sometime, sometimes that also works as well. So the phone has restarted. We will now try checking for Bluetooth and see if the device still appears. So I go to Bluetooth and it will search for available devices. And this device which I have, the JBL, should appear. So actually I hadn't pressed the Bluetooth button here. As soon as I did this, this has started appearing. And like I said, you can always go ahead and check for like software updates if available. On the Samsung, you go down to your phone settings and then like, you know, uh, at the bottom you will see this software update available. So you can go ahead and download this right now. So that's it guys. In case you are facing this issue wherein like, you know, uh, devices uh, aren't showing up, then you simply need to go ahead and do the few things that we just said. Uh, maybe a phone network reset that works best. However, the flight mode, the Bluetooth turning off and on, uh, checking for updates if available and simple reset of the phone can work wonders. So go ahead and let us know if this helped you. If this did, kindly consider subscribing. Do let us know how you find the tutorial in the comments. Please do share this on social media and other places that really makes our day. And that should be all. I will catch you in the next one.